What's happening, Doggy Bone? Got a story time for y'all. This just recently happened, so make sure you smash the like button, comment, subscribe if you're brand new so we can hit this 25K by at least tomorrow, man. Come on and get to it, man. So let me tell you. So a lot of y'all know I'm, uh, I'm divorced now, right? I was married for six years and some change. So we got divorced this last year and a half, almost two years, I think. I can't remember how long it's been. But I just been on my grizzly, right? So uh, I'm like, you know what? I, I, like God been blessing me. You feel me? I need to get out the crib. So Shorty been trying to get me to get out the crib for a minute, but I'm like, I ain't trying to talk to nobody, Shorty. I ain't dating. I ain't doing nothing but getting to the pepperoni and cheese. So I had like she kept inboxing me, but I had I was dubbing on the inbox. So. I'm like, I need to get out the crib. I want, I want, I want to go out to eat. I will go out to eat Dolo in a second. You know what I'm saying? So, she just so happened to uh, message me, like, "What you doing?" I'm like, "Chilling. I'm about to go get me something to eat." She like, "Where?" I'm like, "I'm probably gonna go to Outback, get me some Kookaburra wings." She was like, "Well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you need to get out the house. You want to hang out?" And I'm like, "Damn, I don't." But I'm like, "Yeah, just meet me at Outback." So I go to Outback. Shorty meet me at Outback. Now, Uncle Gentleman, you feel me? But I'm also a really simple dude, if y'all have not already noticed about him. I be chilling. I don't get into too much. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a simplistic individual. So I'm thinking we finna go sit down. I'm gonna pay for the meal because I said for you to come. I, you know what I'm saying? Agreed for you to come. I'm gonna pay for the meal. I'm thinking I'm gonna get me some kookaburra wings, the little onion joints, uh, and, and some uh water with some lemon on, and I'm gonna be chilling. You know what I'm saying? So I that's what I order. So Shorty get her a little drinky poo. I'm like cool, and then she get her a a, a steak something. So I, I I look at the menu. I say okay, Shorty, you you buying shit, ain't you? All right, you know what I'm saying? God been good to me. All right, it's cool. So she get her a drinky poo. You know what I'm saying? We she she talking, we talking. She get through that margarita. She waved the waitress. Hey, can I get another one? I'm like, all right. I say, thirsty, ain't you? So she ordered her a little appetizer. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right. I, because I, I'm, I'm paranoid, bro. I know shorties be just trying to go out for the free meals nowadays. That's in the back of the mind piece. So she's like, man, you you so you so uh difficult. I'm like, what? She's like, man, you don't never go out. I hit you up, you don't like respond. I hit her with the lie, like Shani, you be on Facebook all the time. I be on Facebook like a motherfucker scrolling through. So <laughs> So she was like, okay, so while we talking, my uh my appetizer get here. Now I'm thinking appetizer is for the whole damn table. That's why I was surprised when she had got an appetizer. So she, I, I'm, I'm eating my appetizer. Hers come, I forgot what she got, but her, but hers is like a platter appetizer. That's what I was like. Oh shit, you're not gonna eat all that. That's to go meal right there. So, uh, she like, mm. so she looking for the uh, waitress again. I'm like, everything good? And she's like, I need me another one. I'm like, okay, is an alcoholic. So I'm like, I gotta stop her. I'm like, hey, remember, you didn't ride with me. You gotta drive to the crib. I, I said it a joke and matter. <laughs> but I'm dead ass. You know what I'm saying? So she don't get another one. So uh our food come. I, I'm I'm maxing out on my kookaburra wings. She eating her food. No bullshit. She done ran up a hun bun on her own on that side. So y'all tell me was I L nigga or not. So she knocking back her food. I ain't tripping at, at all. And I'm eating my food is good. You know what I'm saying? We talking. So she, uh, she, excuse me, and the lady comes over. She asks for another one of those meals, the little steak and I can't forget if, if, if it was surf and turf or what. Another one of them shits to go. Oh, you think Uncle old Stoopy though? Now look, my biggest fear is Going out to eat with a chick, she orders some, uh, she get a carry out, take it home to her nigga, he eat the leftovers and then clap her cheeks. That's a real fear for me. So what I do is what any smart man would do. I'm like, let me run to the bathroom. I get up, I go get the waitress. Cause the waitress was looking at me while she was ordering all this shit. And I said, hey, 
I got an emergency. I got to get up out of here. Can you split that bill and just give me mine and I'll pay for it right now? So she says, okay. So I walk over there where they do the ring up. I paid for my shit and I dipped out. Like it's two, like it's two entrances you can and exits you can go out. I go out the other way and I'm like, uh, I run around to my whip. I get in my whip and I dip. Deleted her ass off the Facebook. Sent her a message like, you got me effed up. And that was it. You feel me? I told the waiter, and, and you could take that to her. Man, short the nigga, our bill for Outback Steakhouse was like 217. Who the fuck run up a tab like that? Man, I paid for my 40 and got up out of there, man. Playing no games out here, bro. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm I'm not going back out, bro. I'm I'm in the crib for the rest of my life. It's too weird out here. What's happening, Doggy Bone? We back and uh, got a special one for y'all, man. We going against Lil' Man, pro player. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will call him a legend up in the community. But, you know what I'm saying? We we we, we get out here and we caught smoke. Uh, this was my NFC Championship game before my Super Bowl. As soon as I seen the name, I, I knew it was somebody, but I just couldn't remember who because I remember when I was uh and I forgot who. I want to say it was Bobby V. And he was playing against him, but and he this dude ended up beating Bobby V, Bobby V. I can't. It might have been Bobby V, and knocked him out of the MCS joint. So I did, I couldn't remember exactly who it was. I just knew it was a pro. So I'm like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? Let's get us some good content. Get us into a little hell game. And this hell game was different from anyone that you will ever see. You feel me? So we come out, we, we doing our thing on O, you know what I'm saying? I'm expected, like, if I win this game, um, I'm going to get a, probably a message, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really do my Googles on who I'm playing till after the game. So after the game, uh, I looked at his profile, it had his name, and I'm like, okay, it's Lil' Man, you know what I'm saying? Because I, rem I, I can't remember where, but I remember somebody saying his name, you know what I'm saying? Saying his name, Justin. I typed it in on Twitch, boom, I mean, uh, Twitter, it popped up. I need to create me a Twitter. But yeah, his name ends up popping up and then booyah shocker, you know what I'm saying? Now, now I'm searching for pics and shit for the thumbnail. You feel me? Just doing my content creator stuff. Don't, uh, before this game, middle of this game, end of this game, don't start no MCS shit in the comments. But what I need y'all to do, uh, today is, well, no, yesterday. Uh, Y'all gonna see this tomorrow, but uh, it was my ex-wife's son. So my son-in-law or son still? I don't know, man. It's confusing as hell. But it was it's his birthday, bro. He just turned 13. So if y'all could... Or did he just turn 14? Because we've been split for a long-ass time. His birthday was yesterday, man. So, like, the day is damn time flies. If y'all could do me a favor... They just wish Jay a happy birthday in the comments. He probably won't see this, but you know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all boys. Divorce a mug, nigga. Time be flying by, bro. That junk crazy how long it's been. Woo! That's wild. But you know what I'm saying? I've been able to lock in and get the whooping ass on the Madonna transition. King, bro. I make the most W transitions in the world, man. For real, for real. And as we transition into this ass whooping dot, I hit Keenan Allen in because he voided the middle of his defense of all deep blues. Stupid little dummy. And we end up uh, being able to dot him right here. I think we, we try to go QB draw right here. Um, I know when I do play pros that the last thing you didn't probably seen is empty. And I'm going to keep it a buck. If you see niggas talking about QB draw and empty gun, niggas stole it. Feel me? Nobody was running QB draw this year before I started running it, so I don't want to hear it. I said it in the beginning of the year. I, QB draw five, y'all. Empty gun, I was running that man in 17, uh, started 17, 18. Then I brought it back when I started doing YouTube towards the end of 20. And then I brought it back again, 21. So I've always been in empty, you know what I'm saying? It's one of my uh, off-meta babies, you feel me? And I'm starting to see people uh, get, in, get in it now, you feel me? And the niggas ain't just getting in just because. 
what I'm saying? They might not be sub, but people got their eyes on um, as I as I dot dog. All right, so look, a lot of people, uh, somebody, somebody was asking me about throwing this against man defense. You can throw this against man defense, but you want to get the rub. When I run inside, he's manned up here, he's manned up here. You want to wait for the rub, like right there. You see how as soon as they rub, I click X. You can actually try Y, but Y has to flatten out here. Like even if I click Y here, he's not going to flatten out here on that route. He's still going to run it up towards there. And sometimes uh, this inside guy get a glitchy ass like bounce back route where he like gets like a speed burst towards the backside of that end zone. So I don't like throwing it here. But the moment they get this little bump right here, I throw it immediately. Click on. You see, I click on and I'm going to swerve inside because he does have a KO. And I want to get as far as away from that KO as possible. So I click on, swerve in, and I catch it going this way to the right. You know what I'm saying? So I get away from that KO and he don't knock it out. So, yeah, that's for people who kept at, uh, who was uh, messaging me like I thought that. I'm trying to figure out uh, offense down there, and I, it's not much I can run. And, man, I'm like, it's a ton you can run, but you still got to be imaginative, bro. Even if you buy an ebook, an ebook is not for you to be 100% everything that's in that ebook. You take those concepts, because some, some of the concepts might not work for you, but you take those concepts and you kind of mold them to fit you. The uh, ebook is just a blueprint of teaching you, bro. You still got to put your own spin and own twist and your own comfort. Like right here, I just baked the shit out of dog and I picked that rhyme off. You know what I'm saying? I played so much of this Henry offense, bro. And it is so hell that, you know what I'm saying? Again, um, especially ever since after MCS, everybody's uh, running his bunch offset, the tight halfback slot, sweets. Whatever the hell it's called. So I, I, I kind of I got a better understanding. It's probably the hardest offense for me to come back. But, you know what I'm saying, when you play something so much, you kind of get a good idea of uh, what you need to do against it right there. Good defense of him. I, uh, that's, I thought I would cook Hendricks because he has 71 man. You know what I'm saying? So if you run a man defense with Hendricks on your field, something wrong with you, man. Something wrong with you. So right here again, we're going to motion over. We're going to try to cook up on these hot dotterones and uh, go up 14 nothing. You know what I'm saying? If not, I'll take my uh, I'll take my lead. But I know it's man defense. You see that route tech lined up, and we just cook on the fade on me on the C route. I don't see a lot of people still running C routes, but I swear by them joints. I've been, I've been swearing by them since the beginning of the Madonna, bro. I didn't know how to throw them, though. I used to lie past them. And then uh, credit to some of my subs, because not all of y'all don't uh, don't know nothing. Uh, they they kind of hit me because I wasn't highballing a lot, so they kind of hit me to how I needed to throw it, and we didn't perfect the bitch if he me. So we up 14 zip. Um, I'm like, yo, we kind of baggy right now. You know what I'm saying? The match is real matchy. Slay doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? I got a good. A good combo of guys, you know what I'm saying, on the field. I'm just super comfortable uh, playing defense because nobody's doing sh n nothing new, you know what I'm saying? And if you see something so much, you should be very much capable as far as stopping it. I will be getting uh, that Jordan Poyer and putting him at the deep safety. That drops tomorrow because he gets all 32 team cams as we just blow that up in the backfield. I might get to Reggie White. It just depends on how much he's going for, you know what I'm saying? My my uh, interior lineman with Mad Max and Adams do me just they do just fine, so it's really no point. So he starts hitting me with the uh, you know that's the play with the little wheel outs and the sh uh, streets. He starts quick throwing that. Now I'm not tripping about him quick throwing it because I'm gonna get a stop on it. You know what I'm saying? Right here with just good stick to get that uh that hit. He bounced off of it, but I ain't tripping too much. You know what I'm saying? It's just a quick throw route. And then you'll see when he goes to it, what makes it, what makes uh it kind of nice, you know what I'm saying? On that quick throw joint as he throws it here. I'm right there. Now, he don't know that that's a dog right there he playing with. But what makes the, um, makes it get open is this route out the backfield. Like, notice, as soon as he goes there, like, he gets ready to flat up out the backfield, he stands straight up. Because uh, because of what I'm putting him in uh, match coverage, he kind of has to respect that. You know what I'm saying? So 
uh, he's, the moment he does any type of small hesitation, he gets out there and uh, is able to throw that route. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not tripping because I'm up. Like if he if if if, if that's going to be his read, then that can be his read. But eventually, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take that away and try to get me a picky D60. You feel me? So right here, he's running the ball. You know what I'm saying? Respectable, trying to, you know what I'm saying, kill clock and get a score um, because he does get ball at half. So he's trying to play it smart. Um, I'm taking away corner routes because even if he wants that quick throw out the flat, it's uh, that was just me not clicking. Hey, even if he wants that quick throw, he's not going to be able to throw it in the red zone because I can flat out on that side. It's a lot of things I can do to take it away. But going upfield, I got no problem giving it, giving it, uh, giving it, uh, giving it up right there because it's not going to cause me too much damage. I feel uh, with a lead right here. I do flat out. And then I take the corner routes, and he just throws the book in that cup, man. And then what's going to happen from here? You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and hit this nigga with the freak nasty, unnecessary dance moves, nigga. My grind game is fantabulous, nigga. Call me Ursher. Oh. I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette, bull. Did y'all see the, the hip gyration? Like... Come on, man, boy! I, I was finna, I was finna get myself a, a wild, freaky strip name, but I ain't even finna do that. So six seconds left in the game. I'm just gonna send the crib at him, and he just better block. Uh, I'm looking for the one play touchdown. He does not block. So now the niggas down twenty eight to zero. <laughs> Shut your mouth! We whooping your ass, man. And I know y'all saying, "Fun, why would you say stuff like that?" Because he messaged me after this game. And now y'all was like, oh, that's lucky. That is lucky for me to get that. But, boom. Look where he's throwing the ball. That was a pick anyway. Now, it might not have been a pick six, but he was throwing a bookie D because he was throwing to this streak. It's double covered at this moment. Y'all like y'all remember, once you get to a certain momentum point, it, uh, it shows you where they throwing the ball at. But he didn't block enough. The pressure gets there. Mad Max picks that boy off. Runs it into the crib. And now we have 28 zip going into the half, bro. This wasn't a half hell game. This was an ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? Straight up ass whooping. And he, he did pull the usual. Um, He called me son, which was crazy. Sunito? Sunito is crazy. Called me son. Then he hit me with the usual, you ain't good, play me for money. Like, I don't gamble, bro, and I damn sure don't gamble on this game no more. This random ass game? Uh -uh. So now we in the third quarter. Um, I don't know why he hasn't quit, but he got hella spirit, I guess. So um, I know he's going to keep throwing that flat. You know what I'm saying? Right here, I uh, made boom on that side. No, I think I want to say I man up, and he throws it again. But I'm like, eh, I'm up 28 zip, my nigga. I'm just keep playing defense. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shade or anything like that. Like I'm gonna get a pick on that. You know what I'm saying? So right here, I man up the scene guy, then I flat on the left side, and I'm like, okay, I almost got the lurk on. You know what I'm saying? I almost got the lurk with peppers. So I'm like, okay, I like how that played a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he jumped out there initially. He did get wide right there. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to play it again. I'm going to try it a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? For the next joint, he actually hits me on the little post route. It was a good dot. I'm like, all right, I'm going to take that away. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take that away with my user. But what that means is I can't flat him. Because I'm flattening him for that quick uh, wheel throw. But by flattening him, that means I have to take this part of the field and then I'm giving away the pose. Of course, there's other adjustments I can do. That's just what I want to do. Don't worry about what I'm doing, man. So I'm like, all right, I, ain't, I probably ain't going to be able to flat on that side. But, you know what I'm saying, we play it well right there. He doesn't go wheel route, but I like how we got out there. So I'm like, all right, bet. We're going to go back to them adjusties, man. We're going to go back to them adjusties. Um, I'm gonna stay right here and stop playing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you put all your freak nasty into it, whoo, you know what I'm saying? Hernia. So we end up spanking dog 30 
five to zero and getting him up out of here. That was the NFC Championship before our Super Bowl. And I'm like, well, since we got him up out of here, I might as well show y'all my Super Bowl game. I don't really show Super Bowls. Let me know if y'all want me to give give y'all more Super Bowls because I don't really be caring about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know if y'all want to see them just because it's the Super Bowl. Like, I go to a lot of these shits. But, yeah, this is the Legend Super Bowl right here. And uh, we finna try to get us a whole bunch of weak-ass packs that we ain't going to do nothing but break down in the training and, and go get some TVPs. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do with all my packs. I break them shits down the training, go get me some TVPs, and then get, uh, make my coins that way. I rarely pull anything crazy out of packs, uh, trophy packs for real. And which is wild because I got insane uh, pack luck. So with this dude, he like to use the deep safety. He's playing straight up, man. So when I'm playing somebody like this, I'm going to just try to move his user out the middle of the field. That's all. I'm going to move his user out the middle of the field. I'm a, And once he starts dropping down with his user getting hella aggressive, then I'll start to, you know what I'm saying, dot in this part of the field. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to be hitting him on corner routes uh, underneath because I want him to come down with that user. Like he just played, I had the C route. But I was looking at the corner route because I want him to come down. Like if I hit him with the C route off rip, he's going to start backpedaling immediately. You know what I'm saying? So I see him drop. I see him move in bow. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the uh, draw. Uh, QB draw gets blown up. But I'm like back, you know what I'm saying? I'm almost at that point where once I see him on that safety again, I'm going to catch him in the middle of the field. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, he's just playing straight up uh, cover two man. That's it. Like, he's moving niggas around to kind of stack them on the bunch side for man, which I'm not really tripping about because that don't mean shit. You just drug niggas over. So we get him to drop down on his user. He uh, leaves the middle of the field wide open, and we dot him on the post route. That's all because... Like, when you're playing somebody who's not making adjustments and they just relying on press man being really good, they relying on their knockouts, and then they want to be uh, using that deep safety, I, you can take advantage of that all game as long as you get him to be really aggressive with that user. And you can do that by just hitting the certain parts of the field where he's not going to be. Corner routes, slants, drags, force him to come down with that user, bro. Because when people see people using with that safety, this nigga come out in goal line. When people see people using with the safety, they automatically just try to hit him up top off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just kind of just picking at it, picking at it, picking at it, picking at it. Now, if you're playing somebody who's actually good and they're using that, safe, that deep safety, what they're going to do a lot is have a replacement like I just have right here. You know what I'm saying? I came down with the safety, but I had a replacement. Because I know I'm hella aggressive with my user. So I want to be in this area. And because I want to be in this area, I, uh, I I bring everybody in the box except Peppers, throw him on the third as a replacement, and that allows me to come fill this gap, still uh, try to get pressure, and then still be aggressive off the uh, play action. You know what I'm saying? If not, I got to fill all that back there. So we just dropped Peppers back there. With the cushion I gave him off Gromp, he was able to keep up and get the pick. Because if I had him in a box and put him in that deep blue, Gromp's 97 speed. He's 94 speed. Gromp's going to smoke him off that line. And it's going to be an easy touchdown. How do I know? Because I didn't get that touchdown up before. Coming down with my safety, just swearing this around, being hella aggressive. Uh, so right here, I'm just going to do the exact same thing with dog. Get him to come down with his user. Be a little bit too aggressive. You know what I'm saying? And then, boom. Catch him slipping. Good. Touchdown. You feel me? Like, he already coming down. I could hit the C route. Also, I was kind of debating on which one I was going to go to. Because both of them was going to get booty butt naked open. Both them shits was going to be. You feel me? So right here, he comes back out in goal line. I think at this point, life has gotten to him. You feel me? Like, he ready to get up out of here. He don't want to play no more Madai. He quick throws to the flats. We go ahead and wrap him up. Drag his little stank ass out of bounds, man. And uh, he's fledgling right now. 
I use that word for just a three yard gain. I don't use that word a lot. I like that word though. But yeah, anytime somebody takes this long to pick they play, they don't really want to play no more. You know what I'm saying? He getting blitzed. His spirit really ain't right. And he ready to just get up out of here and give me my packs. You know what I'm saying? The packs was weak. Like I said, I broke them. Actually, them packs wasn't weak. I think I got like 200K training out them packs. Hit TVPs, and I'm already back at like 4.2. 4.2 million. You know what I'm saying? Which is good. Because I know my Randy Momo is coming out this weekend, man. I feel it in my spirit. Right here, he runs the ball. I think his game plan was just to run with Henry and see what he can get cracking. And he realized then, wasn't well, shit popping right there. So he ends up quitting out. And we do end up uh, winning our Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Getting them good packs. Um, as you can see, like it was going to say one-to-one -one Super Bowl, blah, blah, blah. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay, and I will get it y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.